Hey guys, this is Tracy. I am so glad that you're here today because I'm going to share how I created my square pumpkins using canvases. Now the other day I had shared my Apple version. I had did that on a live. I will link to the video if you didn't see that. So let's go ahead and get started and let me share what I did to create these square pumpkins. These are the supplies I'm using for my square pumpkins. The three canvases came from Dollar Tree. Now the larger one is an eight by 10 and the medium one is five by seven. The smaller one is a four by six. The five by seven and the four by six come in a multiple pack, but the eight by 10 was individual. So just letting you know, what I used. All right, these are the scrapbook papers that I used for my square pumpkins. They all came from Hobby Lobby. I just uh, turned over the canvas and then traced out the paper on the back so that I would have, you know, the exact size that I needed. Now, before I uh, attach the paper, to my canvas, I wanna go ahead and paint the sides of the canvas because I do want to, you know, have that color on the side so that it's not white. So for the yellow, I'm using the chalk paint color Curry and that is a Waverly brand and you can get this color of paint at Walmart. Then for the blue, I use Desert Turquoise. That just matched uh, the paper that I was using for this one. And then the other one uh, is orange. I'm using Canyon Orange. And so just kind of letting you know what I used for the papers that I have picked out for my uh, for my uh, square pumpkins. All right, so I'm gonna use the heat transfer method of Mod Podge. And so if you're not familiar with that, uh, you put a layer of Mod Podge on your hard surface. So this is my canvas. And so I'm gonna use my mini iron, which is a Cricut mini press to heat up the paper and iron it on to my canvas. Before I do that, I'm going to use my vintage photo distress ink. I go around the papers just to give it a bit of color, that brown color, which is more of an aged color. And I like that look. And so then I'm also going to be adding some black Sharpie marker because I do like to doodle. I do like to uh, squiggle and all of that good stuff on my country projects. I'm using the heat transfer Mod Podge method and my Mod Podge is already dry. So now I have my paper. I also have my Cricut mini press set all the way up uh, on high and I'm gonna attach my paper this way. I'm using some parchment paper to uh, iron on. It just adds as a buffer. And uh, what you were seeing, I had, uh, since this canvas is kind of hollow in the back, I just got a wood block and, you know, just to give me a little more firmness uh, so that, you know, I could really get uh, the iron on there and iron my paper to my canvas. And so I do the same thing with the medium one as well as with the uh, pumpkin one here, just Mod Podging uh, that paper on there with my little Cricut mini press. All right, so then this is how they look, just so cute. So now for the fun stuff, we're gonna go ahead and make all of the embellishments and that kind of thing. So uh, for the stem of the pumpkin, I'm using one of these, well, actually it's a giant craft stick they came from Walmart and so I'm just taking my antique wax and a baby wipe and just going on and, and antiquing that just to give it some uh, color you know like staining and that is what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this one stick into three separate pieces uh, th so that is going to be the stems for my pumpkins. I also added just a little bit of dry brushing of white paint to my pumpkins just for added uh, character and just color. So I'm taking my ultra fine Sharpie marker and then just going around just adding some doodles. Uh, I know a lot of my stem will be covered up, but I just like it. It makes me feel better because I know that it's there. Then I'll take my uh, mini liner 
a detailing brush and just add some squiggles on there just to bring out my stems and just make them pop. With that vintage photo distress ink and my little finger dauber, it's just a little thing that fits on my finger. It has a sponge on the end. I will go over each pumpkin, just adding some of like the ridges of the pumpkins, just to give it a more realistic look. Now I know this is kind of just a play on the imagination, you know, with the square pumpkins. And so I love making these. I had made um, a set of these a few years ago. I will leave a link for those in the description. Also, I'll put it here in the iCard where you could check it out because those are a little bit bigger and I display them on my mantle each year just by, you know, setting them on the little shelf and just having them, you know, in my fall decor. But you could definitely put a hanger on it like some jute rope or something like that and make a door hanger out of these cute uh, pumpkins and so then now what I'm doing is I am just taking that uh, white paint and my detailing brush and just adding some squiggles because I love that and I really feel that it just you know adds so much to my country projects as I always say the beauty is in the detail so once all of that dries, um, then I'll go ahead and add some paint splattering. I love the black paint splattering and I'm finding that a lot of friends love that as well. I make sure that my table is covered and I just use my stiff brush and a stick. I go over the bristles toward my body and so then that projects the paint onto my uh, pumpkins here. Then um, once that's dry then I am just putting a thin layer of Mod Podge over this. Just This just kind of seals the paper and you know gives it a glossy look which I like. So then to attach my stems, what I do is use a combination of E6000 glue as well as hot glue just to attach those. The E6000 glue is the permanent hold and then the hot glue is the, um, you know, instant hold. Okay, so I like to give my pumpkins or my project some dimension and I'll either use tumbling tower blocks which are little mini jingle blocks that I get from the Dollar Tree or I have found this thicker fun foam uh, at Hobby Lobby and they have a lot of different colors. This particular color is brown so I thought it would be perfect for my pumpkins and so I just it's already this brown color so I just cut off pieces of that and give it some dimension. All right these are all of the supplies I'm using to create the bow and also the leaves for my pumpkins. Now I like to use this brown fabric in my uh, like um, rag bows and so I find this brown fabric I've got a fat quarter of it over from Walmart and so uh, it has you know because it's all um, you know folded over so it has those creases so I just use my little Cricut mini press to get those creases out then what I'm showing you here is I got some cheesecloth from Walmart um, I found that in the canning section and um, what I did is I just made uh, some coffee stain I just put some instant coffee and in some water through my white cloth uh, cheesecloth in there let it soak until I you know thought that I liked the color and then I let it dry I just uh, laid it out on my counter you know with a dish towel and you know just let that dry so then now I'm just bending this over and just cutting it so that it's more in strips because I'm going to be using this as part of my bow so to add leaves to my pumpkins, what I'm using is uh, some of these leaves that I got off of a garland from Hobby Lobby. I cut off a piece of those. And then I'm also using some pit berries as well as different uh, fabric and trims. Uh, I love just kind of piling things on because it really does uh, add to the cuteness of my country projects. Uh, for the tendrils of my pumpkins, I'm using um, cut 
pieces of those pit berries. I find the pit berries on a garland at Hobby Lobby and then uh, I cut the, they're like twisted on a garland. So I untwist those in their individual pieces and then I cut off, you know, cause it's a little too long. Well, then I save those and then wrap those around, uh, you know, making a curly cue out of those. And then that is what is my pumpkin tendril. So uh, something that I used to throw away in the trash, I keep those for my cute pumpkins and so I'm just kind of layering everything on here now for my bows I have some muslin fabric as well as some trims some lace trim and uh, different things like that just layering my pit berries on there and my greenery uh, so like that's part of my leaves now for the larger pumpkin what I did is I have some of this um, one and a half inch window pane ribbon that I got from craft outlet and so then I just made a two loop bow on that just to give that pump that larger pumpkin more uh, you know more cuteness because since it was I wanted it to stand out a little bit more and I absolutely love the way that my square pumpkins turned out again it was an eight I used one eight by ten one five by seven and one four by six to make these square pumpkins now don't forget I do have a video on how I made these square apples I had did that on a live I will uh, link to that video if you would like to see it how I did it from start to finish I had done it on a live where I show you step by step uh, my craft and create sessions are when I create with you live and I just kind of talk you through it show you exactly what I did and we have a lot of fun all right guys thank you so much for watching I appreciate you all so much check out my playlist because I have lots a lot more fall DIYs. All right, y'all have a great day. God bless you. And we will see you in the next video.